Good morning, Yarn of Bees. How are you doing? It's been a minute. Um, yeah, I got a bit to talk to you about. Uh, let's see. My kids are still here. They are leaving tomorrow. They've been here for about a week, I guess. Um, it's been a wonderful time. We've done quite a bit, actually. I'm like whenever they're here they actually get me like getting like get up and do stuff um otherwise i pretty much just stay at home and crochet which isn't a bad thing <laughs> but yeah oh, excuse me hang on oh, she's in my way <laughs> there we go um yeah so i've got a few things to talk to you about uh so how was everybody's new year it was um very quiet for us uh well except for at midnight you know um but i think i talked to you guys about that in my other video it was very loud uh for about a minute <laughs> and that was it so that was nice but um yeah but a lot has happened since new year uh let's see yesterday um you probably some of you may have seen some of my posts on um, my Facebook site and, and stuff like that but uh, the kids decided to they wanted to know where I spread my late husband's ashes so I took them down to Victoria and I showed them where um, and it was actually really nice it was raining for a couple of days and it stopped raining it was just beautiful uh, I'll post a picture here um, it was it was really nice it was really nice I haven't been back there in seven years something like that uh, and I was really surprised at how well I did you know um, I I was I was okay I was okay so that was good that showed that I was I'm getting better um, usually I, I'm just I break down and I I can't handle it so um, so I'm doing okay so that's good that's really good uh, what else um, what's in my cup coffee Like I said, the girls have been keeping me busy. That's why I haven't done any videos. The kids are sleeping right now, so I have a chance. George is at work. The kids are sleeping. This is my time to just... So, uh, yeah, so I figured I'd do a video real quick. Okay. Um, I got a piece of Happy Mail. Uh, it was a little late, but you know the mail system, right? I don't know what's going on. We'll talk about that in a minute. And this is a beautiful card. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on that. It's beautiful. And this is from our um, beautiful Natalie from Natalie's Closet. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Just so sparkly so sparkly oh there you go there now you can see it oh look at that yeah so thank you so much natalie um i did get it <laughs> uh, but yeah the one thing i haven't gotten yet is sandy from leftist rights box for our new beginnings We've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and we, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It's going through UPS. This is what I don't understand, because UPS is usually really good about this kind of stuff. But it's, and it's not like it's a small box. It's not like it can get lost. So that's okay. We're just going to have to wait it out. And, uh, but I did send Sandy an email saying, you know what, I really want you to start yours, you know, because 
she shouldn't have to suffer because of, of what's going on. Right. And, you know, I know she wanted us to do this together, but it's just not going to be like that. So that's okay. That's okay. Uh, so I think she said that she's going to be starting hers today. So I'm going to leave her link down below and go check out her channel because she's going to be opening up my gifts one, one a day um, for the next 25 days. <laughs> now, granted, some of them are Christmas because we were supposed to do this in December, but you know, we decided that we were going to do it in January for the new beginnings. Uh, so yeah, so but go check her out because it's going to be so fun. I can't wait. I told her, I says, I can't wait anymore. You got to, you got to open yours because it's killing me. <laughs> so go check out Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. Can you see anything behind me? can't see this one there can you see look at this look at what I got for Christmas I totally forgot to, I forgot to show these to you because I haven't been in this room I've always been by the tree Look at these. Isn't this adorable? It's got A on it. And then this one has got B on it. For crochet A and crochet B. Isn't that cute? These were done by my niece, Michelle. Thank you so much, Michelle. We just absolutely love these. So these sit right up here with my yarn. Oops. Keeping my yarn safe. But they are, oops, that's his butt. <laughs> Okay, there you go. They are adorable. I love them so much. She did such a good job, man. She can do amigurumi. I just can't. I can't do it at all. Oh, that one's showing his butt too. Okay, there we go. There we go. I just love them. Okay, staying on the bee kick, my sister got me for Christmas. My sister knows me. She got me this. Isn't that cool? This is a piece of wood. And this is etched in. I don't know if you can see that. It's like etched. There we go. And it's a postcard. Isn't that neat? I just love this. Just absolutely love this. That's so cool. And then she got me these bee pins. Aren't they cute? They're wood. Aren't these adorable? Oh, she got me two of them. And then she got me a, a, a beeswax candle. Oh. I just love the smell of beeswax. Oh, it's so nice. So nice. So yeah, so <clears throat> excuse me. So that's what she got. One of, one of the things that she got me for, um, for Christmas. So she says that there's this little shop down by her place in Crofton and it's like a gift shop and it's got tons of stuff like that. And so we're going to go and check that out one of these days. Uh, I won a 25 gift, 20, 25 gift certificate, $25 gift certificate from uh, Crystal at Ricola, aka, no, 
that's her old name, <laughs> Ricola Crochet Corner, and um, from the Wool Queen. And so I went over to the Wool Queen and I picked out what I wanted. And what I got was this um, Patones Canadian, of course, in my red color. And, oh, where's my glasses? This is a four weight. And I believe it's 100% acrylic. Yes, 100% acrylic. There's 100 grams in this ball. And it asks for a 5 millimeter hook. Isn't that pretty? It's actually right there. That's the color. So I got four balls of that. And you know I had to go and get something else right of course I did so I got which I just I just love this I got the James C. Brett marble chunky I've only had this once I've never had it since uh, I bought a ball of James C. Brett when I met Seta a um, year and a half ago almost two years now but it was yeah about a year and a half ago I met Seta from Seta's happy Seta's place so, oh gosh I'm getting everybody's channels all mixed up now um and I loved it it made such a beautiful hat and cowl so I wanted to get some more and it seems like the only place that you can get it seems to be like in the UK. So, uh, so I took that opportunity to buy it. And it is 100% acrylic. You can machine wash it, which is always nice. There's 341 yards, 312 meters in, um, in this. And it's doesn't give a color what no it doesn't give a color it's just a number it's m is in mary c is in cat eight six so isn't that pretty and you can see it's got my color so so that i got two of those and the ball band's coming off of this one so <laughs> um stuff that back in there if I can find out where there we go so I got two of those now I um okay remember I was telling you that I got the big box of premier yarns or no sorry Hobie oh, was Hobie a premier and uh, Hirschner's uh, the big box of Hirschner's yarns that I showed you from George uh, for Christmas. And that there's one other order that I was supposed to get um, from Hobie that uh, was from George too. Well, I got it. Yes, I did. And, of course, I had to get... Oops, where is it here? Oh. Cookie yarn. Oops, is that upside down? There we go. <laughs> Cookie yarn. Okay, so I had this color already, but I used it. Um, and so I wanted to get some more. Now, this color is 46201. And it is 100% acrylic. And it's a five weight, but oh, isn't it pretty? Oh, it's just gorgeous. And then I got this already. I was supposed to be making that witch's hat out of it. Didn't happen. Uh, so I have to frog back what I've 
done. But that's okay because I want to make a cowl like out of this or not a cowl, a triangle shawl or a keyhole scarf. <clears throat> so isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. And this color is, do, 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 do. here it is, 46214. Love this. So I got three of each of those and then I got this I haven't had this color yet oh it's so pretty and the color on that is 46205 so oops. let's see if I can so those are the colors that I got gorgeous just gorgeous so yeah and oh I got a free row counter so that's one of those finger row counters which I'm gonna try because that's gonna be interesting <laughs> I'm not so much um, I don't so much lose my rows as I do my stitches. <sighs> so <clears throat> you could do it for both, I guess. All right. Now I went to Michael's, of course. Oh, no, I didn't. I went to Walmart and I had to get, I want, I've been looking for, um, some more of the parchment that I got, um, the premium, or not premium, in parchment. I've gone to three different Walmarts and I can't find it anywhere. The yarn aisles in Walmarts are just crazy. They just, there's nothing in them. So, and we went to Victoria yesterday and I totally forgot to go to the Walmart there. We were a little preoccupied, but, um, yeah, I totally blanked it. But what I did find was a new yarn that I thought, well, I think it's a new yarn because I haven't seen it. This is, um, Yarn Inspirations Bernat Velvet Plus. And it's a velvet, it's, it's um, like the Bernat velvet stripes, but it's a plus, which means it's a thicker one. This is, the color is indigo velvet. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a super bulky six. It's 100% polyester. There's 300 grams in here, uh, which is 71 meters, 78 yards. But isn't that plush gorgeous? Oh, so I got that color and then I got the black. It's called Blackbird. Doesn't that remind you of a raven? Like, oh. So I'm going to put these two together. This is actually a darker, like, darker color. But, oh, these two together is going to make a gorgeous triangle shawl. So I got that. I'm put this away, get it out of my way. Yeah. So I was really excited about that. All right. Uh, I want a pattern also from Yarny, Yarny Cat Bibliophile. You know what? I, can, I have a hard time saying that word. Um, during the Argus of Love with uh, Sin's Crafting World. And I'll show you the pattern here. I started it um, 
and I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to tweak it a little bit because the way it is, it's two panels that come down the shoulders and there's a split in the back and a split in the front. Oh, sorry, mailman. Hang on. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so there's a split in both the back and the front. And I thought, why? You know, like, okay. So I thought it was like a cape that goes around. So I'm, I'm changing it to make it into a cape instead. I don't know how long I'm going to, I'm thinking past the shoulder or past the elbows when you have your arms bent, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And then I'll, I will show you what it looks like. Uh, so thank you. Thank you very much. Um, for that pattern it's there was a couple of patterns i was looking at i was like mm -hmm. okay let's just try this one <laughs> so it was like uh it was a ten dollar gift card for a pattern yeah so yeah um i also oh geez i've been you know i went through like this whole youtube journey of mine and I've never won anything really. And all of a sudden this year, or well, I guess the end of 2020, what? Um, I've been winning lots of different things. Oh, Bailey. Oh. George is home. Hmm, that's why. Hang on one second. So George popped home. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the dog was going all crazy. So now he's going to go and sit. It's it's that time of year, right? He has I'm a job. The Maytag repairman. <laughs> yeah, he's, he has to sit and wait around for a job now. So, yeah. Say the Maytag repairman. They can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, what, what, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah. So I've been winning things like crazy. It's like, I guess you have to actually enter to win, right? So, <laughs> so I won another $50 gift card from, um, from Crystal Roy at Coffee Crochet and Cuddles. Like, wow. <laughs> like I was just, I was absolutely... I, I, my job was on the ground. I was just like, really? Like, oh my goodness. So, but that's okay because in return, Crystal won my, um, donation for the Argus of Love, my keyhole scarf and fingerless gloves, but she didn't want any fingerless gloves. She wanted a ponytail hat. So I made that up for her and shipped it off. And this is what it looks like. So she got to choose the colors that she wanted. She wanted darker colors, but I wanted to put that little pop uh, of color in there just so that you could see what the textures were in the keyhole scarf. So yeah, so that was fun. Um, so yeah. I, I just, I, it was an, a $50 Amazon gift card and I haven't used it all yet. This time I, like I went on Amazon and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. But this time I'm kind of holding back and I'm like, no, if I was able to, um, buy an Addy, I probably would have put it towards that. But for some reason we aren't able to get the Addy machine here. I haven't found anywhere that will sell an Addy. You can't get it on Amazon. You can't get it on um, like any website that I know of. For all my Canadian friends out there, if you know of a place that will ship an Addy to Canada, let me know. I'm going to go. I'm my sister has been sending her um, her little baskets to a shop that's in Duncan here. And I'm going to find out if she can bring one in. I don't know because I can't find it. 
I can't find it. But then again, since Crystal from Bag Day has talked about the Addy, you can't find one anywhere. But the fact that you can't have, it cannot seem to be shipped up here is beyond me. Uh, it's just cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> um, also, I bought, I saw these online and I had to, of course, you know I had to do it. Uh, can you see that? Look at these little bumblebees. Aren't these adorable? So I bought two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one of those bumblebees and one of these pins in a giveaway. Yes, I am. <laughs> so I am going to ask you to put a comment down below with and with any like any comment, but it has to say bumblebee. And uh, and then I will pick a winner. What's today? Today is the 11th, Monday, the 11th. I will pick a winner next Monday, next Monday. And I will do the draw then. Okay, so Bumblebee. Uh, also, I want to talk about this. Because you're all probably going, ah, where is that? I just finished this last night. And again, it's kind of my own design. Um, it's got a thing on the bottom here and it's quite long. Um, if I can get my kids to do to um, uh, model them for me, I'll put a picture in here. Um, but it's basically similar to, oh, I haven't showed you guys the pictures. I'll do that at the end. This goes up into a hood. This is done with the Bernat Velvet Stripe. Oh, I didn't bring it in. I had a lot of interruptions today. <laughs> Hold on one second. Can you tell I haven't done a video in a while? <laughs> I am so not prepared. Okay, these were new colors. Um, Oh, crap. I don't have the ball band. Shoot. Okay. Um, these were new colors that came out that, oh, I just love. So I, I don't have the ball band with me right now, but I will put the name right here or the color. <clears throat> but it's the Bernat Velvet Stripes. And it seems like these are the only... I'm only using this yarn with these cowls. Or these corn... <sighs> what are they called? Triangle cowls. <laughs> um, but I just... Oh, I love this color. And it's... You can't really see... See, it's got a couple of different colors to it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, there you go. So it's got the teal and the blue and the gray. And it's just, oh, it's absolutely beautiful. So... So yeah, I made the cowl like really long so that it can go up and over. Now I played around a little bit with putting fur on it, on the cowl part. And to be honest, I didn't like it. So yeah, I just kind of went, mm, you know, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. <clears throat> But, uh, no. <laughs> Anyways, so there was two different colors that I got. Um, and this one I can't wait to do too. As soon as I saw this, I, I thought Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. Um, this one's called Royal. 
and it's bulky five. It's a hundred percent polyester. Yeah. Oh, and there's how much in it? 300 grams, 288 meters, 315 yards. Look at this. Oh, I saw that and I just about like went to my knees. I was like, oh my goodness. If that's not a royal color, I don't know. But it just grabbed me. And then I saw this one and I was like, oh, I have to have both of them. But this was just, oh, oh man, I could not, I couldn't contain myself. I was just giddy. So I had to buy that. So that's going to be the next, next, uh, yeah, thing that thing that over there thing <laughs> last but not least uh sisterhood of the traveling hook is finally in the netherlands yay i am so tickled i finally got the um email from wimpy craft now I okay is it wimpy craft or cre uh, create no is it wimpy creative or creative um because I, I I'm constantly saying her name wrong I'm butchering it all the time and I just it makes me sad <laughs> I'm so sorry um but anyways she has the hook so excited um and i have a surprise the other sisterhood of the traveling hook is going to the u.s finally it is going over the border and it is going to the u.s lisa from lisa's crochet is finished with it and she is sending it off to the next recipient and i'm not telling you who that is yet but um if you followed my videos from uh the beginning videos of the sisterhood of the traveling hook you will know exactly who it's going to so but yes it is breaching our border and it is on its way to the u.s and it's got a long travel uh, before it gets back to me so i am so excited i am so excited it's like it's finally happening so yeah so it's it's travels in canada is over uh and now it's on a new adventure for 2021 yep woohoo so uh so keep i'll keep you posted and um don't forget i have the link down below for the playlist uh, if you're interested in going back and watching all those videos of the travels that it's been on so far. Uh, and yeah, I think that's everything. I think that is everything. Looking around. Did you hear that? I don't know if you guys heard that. Fairy horn. <laughs> You probably, I'm going to have the window open in the summertime, so you're probably, well, actually, maybe I'll start doing my videos outside again, depending on the weather. Yeah, fairy horns, they've been kind of active lately, ever since New Year's. It's weird. I haven't really heard a whole lot from them. Maybe they've got a new driver, and he's actually using the horn. I don't know. Okay, uh, I think that's about enough. You guys are probably going, oh, for God's sakes, woman, just get it over with. <laughs> okay. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me and I will talk to you soon. I love you all. Bye.